Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, Mike the Wandering Took, and joining me, as always, my dear friend, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hello, my dear friend, Mike. How are you? I am doing grand. I have oh, recovered I'm so from surgery, so I should be able to thank, think tonight. Thank goodness. Yeah. No longer drug addled. No. No, that was, yeah, that was a weird, weird time. It's <laughs> a weird time. <laughs> but hey, we're back and we're All excited. Right. It was the first thing you said. We're really excited. We're excited. This is very yeah. Daniel's already looking at the buttons. Uh, yeah, I shout saw out. Ben shout out to Tika Toy who did the the little helpers for a lot of these scenarios. <laughs> for those who haven't played this with physical cards yet, you're gonna put them down and wonder what the heck they're doing and how like. When you're putting them down, it's hard to see how they all connect and what, where you actually are. Right. These lines right. really give you a cool visual of where you actually are uh, on this map. I really like it. So, uh, hey, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are actually starting our first scenario of the edge of the earth. Now, we went through our so prologue exciting. last week where we walked through how we built our investigators. And we read the prologue, in which we said, Shogoths at the Mountains of Madness? Ha! Ha! Dire, you madman. And uh, we were convinced to go on this expedition anyways, because we're, I don't know, what are we looking for? I'm, tr I'm trying to, to escape the people I owe money to, because I'm, I'm gutter, ball, gutter rat Bob. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why you're joining me, Daniela. Um, let's just say that the expedition needed a second mechanic to help out, um, Takata, uh, Takata Hiroko. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that. I, I'm her, I'm her assistant. Yeah. So I figure Antarctica can't be any worse than the Shelby gang. Right. Right. And maybe I'll, I'll find some sweet, sweet timeshare property that I can sell to people. Nailed it. Got it. So here we are. We actually did the prologue for this last last week and because we wanted to well a get some of the reading out of the way but b see who we were left with because we hopped in our planes flew out over the mountains and then what we we saw this thing in the sky and we crash landed on the mountainside see we're gonna yeah, crash we did. and unfortunately one of our crew members died and that was dan firth who is one of our main characters so We'll see how this story goes. Uh, for reference, I have played about two-thirds of this campaign. I don't know how it ends. I certainly don't know how Danforth's story, where it goes. And Daniel, you're going in blind. Totally. Snow blind. This, oh, that's that's wonderful. Yep. You know what is appropriate? Because in Washington, D.C. today, it's freezing. Is it? Wow. It was like, it was meant to be. And hey, we got Yeah, uh, it is a few unseasonably cold. <laughs> So wild. It is it is around one degree in your country. That's not quite freezing. It's close though. <laughs> yeah, it's like thirty four right now. Yeah. Goodness. Goodness. Yeah. Okay, so before we start, couple couple things. Let's give you a tour of what's going on. Yes, we please. have these locations up here and mm -hmm. maybe it's on the cards, but as we travel to a new location, the map starts to open up. Okay. So it opens up as we move and explore. Hmm. Big things to know down here, right above my play mat is yep. the Tekeli Lee deck or the Tekeli Lee deck or however you want to call it. Tiki deck. Uh, we will be, <laughs> I've shuffled it up. The way these are discarded, they're usually put at the bottom of the deck. So keep in mind, don't constantly shuffle this deck. Mm -hmm. uh, towards the top here, we have the bag of frost tokens right next to our lovely chaos bag, with which we have already an extra broken tablet, because that's how we roll. We like to make things harder. Apparently. And I'm throwing a bunch yeah. of uncharted locations up here because we are going to use them. Mm-hmm. And that is it, I believe. Hello to everyone in the chat. Hey, Bill. 
<laughs> Who do we got there with us tonight, Mike? Four game lure. Hey. Um. All right. Last bit of housekeeping. We each yes. get a partner. One mm. of the remaining eight people will join us. Yeah. Each of us. And now mm. we can change these up throughout the course, right? Yes, we can. Okay. But we are with this one for the the scenario. Foreseeable scenario. Okay. Just this this session we are with them. Well, I thought thought maybe I would hang out with Dr. Mala Sina. To heal damage. I imagine I'm gonna get punched in the face a lot. Probably. Um, but if we think we need me to be able to set, every once in a while find a clue, I could take Dr. Amy Kensler. So it's sort of like, uh, those are the two that I'm thinking about. Right. I don't need uh, Cookie. Cookie's an option for me in case you're... Yeah, I think Cookie would be good for you. I'm also looking at William Dyer like to heal horror. Yeah. I don't have much of that going on. Roll Dell's worth. I also don't want to be punched awesome. to death. Who? Roll Dell's worth is pretty awesome. And yeah. Avery Claypool is pretty awesome. See, those guys, I feel I'm gonna understand how great they are later, but I don't know. All right. Well, here's a you know what I mean? Games. I'm going to choose Rolled because the reason why I'm choosing Rolled is mm -hmm. because he died so fast on my other campaign, I've never gotten a chance to use him. So uh, that's why I'm choosing this one. Not because I happen to know okay. anything, just because I, I haven't. All right. I am going to hang out with Dr. Mala. She's coming with me. My area is going to get a little uh, busy, I think. Right. <laughs> Let's put him here. Oh, that's right. We have that place that's unmarked. Let's do that. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, okay, so the rest of them will get set off to the side in the I'm still alive pile. Mm -hmm. All right. And I guess we are ready for some acts and agendas, hey? Yeah, go ahead. Agenda 1A, cold welcome. This isn't exactly how you imagined your first foray into the Antarctic wilds. The stinging cold and lashing frozen winds will only get worse over time. Forced after a location is entered by an investigator for the first time, put into play each set aside location connected to it. Four okay. game threshold. Okay, Daniel. Okay, well, this is exciting. Act 1A search for a campsite. You're going to have to find a way back to camp, and soon, or you'll have to make do camping in the wild. As an action, each investigator is at the same location and that location has no clues on it. Resign! You set up camp, each investigator resigns. Interesting. Okay. Our objective is to find somewhere safe to set up camp. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. The higher the shelter value of the location they resigned at, the better. I see. Oh, yeah. I like this. Yeah, we're trying okay. to find shelter. So, now we'll look at the, the scenario reference card. Mm. Skulls are worth minus X. X is half the shelter value of your location. Round it up. Cultist, minus two. If you fail, take a tiki card, shuffle it in your deck, and you don't get to look at it. And it stays with you. If you don't use it this game, it stays with you to the next game. Just like a regular weakness. And we do have broken tablets. Minus three for each point you fail by. Discard the top card of your deck and draw each weakness discarded by this effect. Isn't that awful? Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so if you fail, shuffle the top card of the Tiki Leaky deck into your deck without looking at it. Wow, cool. So you said you could take that between scenarios? Well, it, it's considered a weakness. The rules for weaknesses are when you gain a weakness, it's part of your deck, right? Permanently. Okay. The catch yeah. is is that on the Tiki Leaky cards, it says, after this resolves, remove it from your deck. Remove it. Okay. So it's a so... semi-permanent in that if you don't use it, yes, it does stick with you forever. God. How horrifying is that parenthetical, Mike? If you cannot take a horror, that just means that there's 12 weaknesses in our decks. 12? I believe that's 16. 16? <laughs> there's, what, 16 of these cards in your deck. I so mean, maybe you in a four-player how game. bad things would be for us if half our deck is those? Ugh. Yeah, best that's of luck, bad. dude. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, Mike, I'm going to tell you about the campsite we're stranded at. Oh, yeah, please do. 
It was risky business sailing over the Etarch in a single aeroplane without any line of bases. Indeed. Okay. Here at the crash site, we can test book or uh, fleetness three to scavenge from the wreckage. If you succeed in the supplies recovered section of the campaign log, record spare parts. Yeah. This would not be a place to shelter. <laughs> I mean, we could, but yeah. I resign. <laughs> so, yeah, the planes crash, and apparently there's supplies that we can recover. Look at that. Now, neither of us is really a reader. I guess you kind of are, right? I'm kind of a reader. I just need a little help. And right. uh, this is the, the level zero dilemma, right? Especially with Bob. Yeah, right. With but Bob. Yeah. Here we go, eh? It's not a dilemma for me. I can never read. <clears throat> so, well, Mike, I'm raising a glass to you, my friend. Here's to edge of the earth. All right. Into ching, the ching. wilds we go. All right. Uh, who wants to go first? Take that first step into the cold. Oh, I will. You know what I bring to the Antarctic wastes, Mike? Your teddy bear? Tell me it's your teddy bear. I bring bear. my teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Um, Then I'm going to actually shuffle again real quick and i'm gonna draw all right oh none of these things are particularly useless so maybe what i'll do is take a little true grit in case you get hit with something lovely that's me okay well uh it's the first turn of the game you know what that means yes no what it means uh i get to discard a whole bunch of crap. Oh gosh, you should tell people why. They might not. This have seen is uh, I am a. This is a short supply, and underworld support deck, which means I have exactly one copy of every card. And short supply means I discard the top ten cards of my deck every game. Some of these I'll be able to get back. Some of them I won't. Quick thinking, ain't getting that back. Scrounge for supplies, not getting that back. Unexpected courage, not getting that back. Impromptu barrier is good. That's one you want in your discard pile. Uh, resourceful, I'm not getting that back. All right, what is that? Five, six, seven, I have three more. One, flashlight, manual decks, not getting that back. And the old key ring, okay. So actually a pretty decent pull because I, ha I, I mulliganed hard for scavenging. And uh, I have four items in my discard pile. One big miss, none of my weaknesses hit my discard pile. That's unfortunate, which means I do have to consider greed. And then if I don't have too much money, I'm, I could potentially take four horror in one go. Isn't that fun? Wow. That is fun. Okay. So, so what are you going to bring? Well, step one is scavenging, of course. Sure. That's uh, that's just got to happen. Where am I going to put that? Probably my tarot set. Uh, I get a free action to play an item. So I'm going to put out my pocket telescope. And nice. I'm going to exhaust it. And I get to look at any connecting location. So let's look at the one below us. Okay. Frozen Did you shores. forget to read us a story about it? Uh, I, I get to look at it. It then flips back over. Oh, I see. Okay. I just wanted to see what we were looking at here. It okay. gets extra shroud if an encounter card is attached to it. Shelter value two and only two clues. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. And what have I done? So yeah, this is this is going to be an a, a weird keep track of Bob's actions type game. So I should have two actions left. And I think I'm actually... You can't do the agility test, can you? We're doing that later. Um, I shouldn't do the agility test, no. Okay, maybe I'll, uh, I'll dig some more before I try to do that crash site test. Okay. For the moment, I am going to move. They are now stretched off to the east, the low white line of the Great Ice Barrier. On the frozen shores. The sun okay. never quite sets over the horizon past the icy shoreline, painting the sky a myriad tapestry of beautiful colors. Well, that sounds sweet. Okay, I have one card to put into play according to the map from the book, and that is this guy here, the broad snowdrifts, and I should be able to just hit that button. Look at that. We're connected. Wow. So you can't enter this unless investigators at this location spend two clues. 
So that's why you need clues. Okay. All right. I am going to spend a dollar and wing it. So let's see what I draw. Shelter two, so that's actually shelter one. Uh, so I'm a three, and because I did wing. Why is that shelter one? Sorry, that's a the skull is worth a one. It's just minus one. Minus one, one, one because shelter right. is two. Okay. So uh, because of the shroud was minus one, I do get a clue, and I did succeed by two. I'm gonna put in the clickers, by the way. There we go, which means I get to Thank exhaust you. scavenging and pull something back. Well, that works great. So uh, I think I'm gonna bring out the uh, the old keyring. I do like that old keyring. And that's my turn. Don't you get don't you get both clues? Uh, only if I play it from the discard pile. Oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry. No, okay. I had I had to pitch it first, and then Punishing. now that it's there, and this is great about the shorts about the underworld support deck. I've only got 13 cards in here now. So, if I can use it fast, it gets shuffled back in my deck. Right. Good. So is that us? <clears throat> That's us. All right. Monster phase. None. Upkeep. Shrewd right. dealings. I like okay. to see that. I like to see that. Let's head on up to the camera three. We've put one, one doom down. Uh, uh, do you want me to be first? Yeah, probably best, because usually the, the decisions revolve around the first player. Oh, okay. I have drawn something called Dark Aurora. Test brains three, and for each snowflake token I reveal, take a horror. Ooh. <laughs> if you fail, take two horror. Good thing I brought my teddy bear. Yep. All right, well, I am up one right now as we speak. Okay. Hey, Mike, would you say that this is a lightning bolt window? Mm. Do I have one now? I do, right? Oy, oy, oy. I, that I don't know. Because mm. I could keep the faith right now. If it's a lightning bolt. Is it a fast? It's played during... Yeah, it is fast. Would you have played it last round? or? Were you... Oh, it's got to be on my turn, right? I think it's got to be on your turn. Yeah, never mind. Or I'm up one, and I'm turns. just going to let it ride, son. You ready? Let's do it. Oh. Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, if I were attacked... you I'm at, Okay, well, I succeed. And it's nice that Daniela's first poll of this campaign is an Elder Sign. I feel that is a good omen, Mike. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's mine gonna be? Uh, you shuffled that. Hey, you did I shuffle. shuffled it a lot. I watched you yeah. shuffle that. Yes, I sure did. Okay, well I'm gonna fail this. Oh, With God. that attitude, well, that's a technically thing, isn't it? Oh, good lord! What did I just? Why are you drawing two tokens? Oh, sorry. My, it's just a minus two. Thought it was a uh, draw again. Uh, that's just a minus two. So you know what? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna copy the scenario card, put it where we we like to see. Okay. Them. okay. Uh, so minus two. I get a Tekli card. This is not good. And I take two more. Ew. <clears throat> yeah. It begins. It begins. Just just like that, huh? Just like that. Well, why don't you go first and see if you can get yourself. Get all the clues out of there. Because hmm. I'm not, I mean, I'm equipped to be battling stuff. Okay. First action, shrewd dealings. Love it. Free action, old keyring. Love it. Uh, and I'm going to do the exhaust keyring and investigate. Okay. Uh, yep, that's the last clue. Nice. Which means and I that get to means trigger scavenging. We... Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Grave right. digger shovel, grave digger shovel. Which means you can go south if you want. 
That's right. So I have played a thing. I've done my free. I've investigated. Do you want to use your telescope? I'll probably move down there anyway, right? Oh, yes, I do. I do. And I'm going to go... Yes. I'm going to go top right. Because these are connected. Are they? They are? Look oh. at that. That's a two shroud. Shelter one. If you reveal frost tokens here, take a damage or horror. So that exists. Okay. And I'm going to move down one. Nice. Broad snow drifts. I spend my two clues. On the lofty ice barrier in the background, myriads of grotesque penguins squawk and flap their fins. Oh, actually. Grotesque penguins? Grotesque. Those are the worst kind. They are. Lots and lots of clues. When you successfully investigate it, add a frost token to the chaos bag to discover three additional clues. Don't do that. <laughs> Just saying. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, we add a few more locations to this now. We add... Not those. The snow graves I'll be adding. The... So this is always the same locations that go yes. to the, each place? There okay. is a map. Actually, the, I'm hoping that if they give this the the return to treatment, that they have two copies of each location. Right. Just so there's a little more variety, because I, I do know somewhat what the locations are like. Okay. It would be nice to be surprised again, because I envy you. You're playing this for the first time. I set it up this way for a reason. Okay. I see that reason. Okay, then you hit a button that draws lines, right? That's right. So I'm here, and that's what's all connected. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's where we are so far. All right. I think you have one more action, don't you? Uh, no, I moved from my last action, because I played through dealings. Yep, yep. The keychain right. investigated and moved. All right. Well, <clears throat> without monsters and stuff... I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, the first bit of this scenario is a little monster light. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe I'll go to the precarious ice sheet. What is your... Oh, your book's one. <laughs> My book is one. I really am not much of a reader. Um, all right. I'm going to go... I mean, book one against a one, that's not so bad, but I don't want a bunch of tech -a leaky things. So I'm going to head over here to see what's up, if that's right with you. The yeah. ice sheet was very thin with dark ground here and there visible. Mm -hmm. When you draw a hazard treachery while at Curious Ice Sheet, add a snowflake to the chaos bag, cancel that card's effect, and discard it. Don't oh, right. do that. <laughs> it's a oh, trap. Oh, an option? It's an option. Okay. It's, it is a trap. Okay, so this... I do like these. I do like these options. Oh yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. And so this place leads to just that one. The icy waste stuff. Okay. Oh look, which also connects down here to the remnants of Lakes Camp. Yeah, we're like we're doing great. So Lakes Camp, that was the first investigation. Okay. Like I'm going to draw. Pattern. Yeah. I'm going to draw, and I drew yet another on the hunt. Hmm. Okay. And, Mike, I'm sorry, but I'm going to draw again. That's fine. Just get set up. All right. Bandolier. That's fine. Okay. That is me. Uh, monsters. No monsters. Go ahead and upkeep, Mike. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> I got the combo. This never happens. Because of the way this deck works. But I get to jury rig my telescope. <laughs> <laughs> I have jury rig in my deck too. I can also jury rig my Tennessee Sour Mash. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my god, that'd be great. Anyways, <clears throat> cool. Cool, cool. All right, let's go do some bad things to ourselves. To Doom. I have drawn a card called Antarctic Wind. 
attached to the nearest location without a copy. Um, I'm guessing that I'm at the nearest place without that. You are. You're not allowed to play cards or draw cards from your deck. Well, that's great. Ancient Evils. Place a Doom on the current agenda. Really? Ancient Evils? Ancient Evils is in this. Oh, we're one away. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I'm going to move away from here, if that's all right. Yeah, that works for me. All right. I wish this would just go where I want it to go. Which isn't really there, but all right. So you can't go I'm up there. Head. That's, uh... I can't head there. I guess I'll go to the treacherous path. In order to recover the Archaean slate vein in which he had found the odd markings, he would have to make a sled, long sledge trip from these foothills to the steep slopes of the gigantic mountains themselves. I'll go there. Did you already flip it for me? Thank nope. you. Oh, you didn't. We just knew that there were two there. That's right. Yeah. Forced, after you reveal one or more snowflakes, uh, take a damage. Or more. Right. And this reveals something called the... Rocky Crags, I believe. Rocky... Crags. Yeah. All right, Mike. I feel like I'm not helping the team at all. <laughs> right now. You will. You will. I know I'm you, sure I you will. feel like you're not. I def feel like I'm not. So I'm going to put on a bandolier just because, you know, things are going to happen, I'm sure. Right? Yep. I'm not going to jury rig my bandolier. That's a good idea. Well, that'd be really funny, wouldn't it? And then I'm going to um, take a... Should I take a rando test? I have no reading cards at all, like ever. This is funny. All right. Um, oh, I could jury rig, um, but I'm really waiting to jury rig my sledgehammer, to be honest. Yeah, you want to jury rig something that I can do something with it. Um, all right. I am uh, taking a dollar for my last action. Okay. I Remind really... me to play on the hunt, will you? Uh, sh I don't know if there are any monsters yet. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, wait. You know what? There will. There will. You'll be all right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play winging it from my discard from pile. discard. All right, so I'm at a Shroud Zero location. Minus four is a, is a pass. I can't scavenge, but it's a pass. So I get... That's two clues. Two clues. And winging it goes to the bottom of the discard pile. Not, not bottom. That gets shuffled in. Shuffled into your deck. Yep. Great. Okay. Uh, money is going to be a serious concern here. Uh, what do you want me to look at? Mm. How about those rocky crags? Maybe there's something my strength can do there. I can't. It has to be adjacent. Let's do the crystalline cavern then. Okay, I am tapping the telescope. Five shroud, six clues, shelter eight. Test five fleetness to climb up one of the crystalline walls in search of evidence. If you succeed, you can get Miasmic Crystal. Wow. And to get I in there... I five agility happening. We need eight clues to get in there. And I we have to get all the clues the, off. <laughs> I guess because it's the best shelter location we could find, right? Uh, so far, it looks or to be that it's way. It's definitely a good one, right? Mm. All right. All right. Okay, so what have I done? I've investigated. And that's it. And yep, that's it. I want to jury rig my telescope. Okay. I'll just put it down here. There, I've jury rigged my telescope. Um, I'm going to want money. Mainly so I don't die from my weakness. I'm going to take $2. I need to get this train going. Okay. 
<clears throat> monsters, no monsters. Let's go ahead and upkeep. All right, so Mike, you have a new agenda to read, my friend. Do I? I hate to say it. Under the ice. Hold on, come see this. One of the other team members shouts at you as you trudge your head in the, through the snow. You turn back and examine what they have found. A second set of tracks in the snow, but smaller, misshapen, almost impossibly so. When the hell could have made these tracks, one of your party asks. You stand dumbfounded. Very little wildlife exists out here in the frozen wastes, and these tracks match nothing you've ever seen before. Nothing you can even imagine. You don't have to question what could make such tracks for long. A shape emerges from the erupting snow, twisted and deformed, like a splotch of ink spilled upon the canvas of reality. It makes a strange, almost familiar cry that is eaten by the howling wind. Lee! Lee! Then with terrifying speed, <laughs> it rushes toward you. Spawn a set-aside skittering nonsense at the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the remainder of the set-aside skittering nonsense enemies and the set-aside creatures in the ice enemy encounter set into the encounter deck. There we go. So now the monsters have come out. So Daniel, you get one of those guys. Do they? All right. So they come right to me, right? Uh, just, uh... Yeah. Do we don't? He's not aloof. We don't shuffle so. the discard pile. Huh. Okay. Huh. Agenda two A into the white. Something dwells beneath the ice. Something you've never seen or heard of before. Not even in William Dyer's horrifying report. Something unreal. Uh, the same forced effect. And okay. Seven doom, and then there's one more agenda after this one. We gotta find a place to camp, Mike. Skittering nonsense, hey? When you defeat it, you get a tiki card. Oh, charming. Yeah. You shuffle the deck? Well, I'm gonna do it again. And now we get to draw cards. Daniel. Now we get to draw. Play on the yeah. hunt. Well, now, uh, now do I want to? Well, you asked me to remind you, so I, I reminded you. I've you done did. my due diligence. I did. I did. Um, dude, I think I want to. How much do counter punches cost? No, nothing costs anything. All right, so I'm going to spend a dollar to play on the hunt, Mike. All right. And it is discard the top nine, right? No nope. nope. search. All right, so let me go search up, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Top nine. Would you believe that I found nine? A manifest manifestation of madness. I would absolutely believe that. And that is the only thing I found. So there he is for me. All right. I will. When it attacks you, shuffle the top two cards of the tiki deck into your deck without looking at them. I don't think I want him to attack me, Mike. Well, that's what you got. And uh, then right. I got Dark Aurora. This thing again? Oof, that's a tough one for you. If I draw my weakness, I'm dead. Hmm. Um, I think I'm pitching my Sour Mash. Well, do you want me to handle it? <gasps> yes, I do. Doy, what am I thinking? Yeah, I want you to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Why, I don't, have you go that and, card in my why don't you go and grab a dollar, too? I totally jerk. did. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm just up one. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to deal with it. I don't have a way. I mean, yeah, I'm fine. Here we go. You ready? Yep. I made it. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> Phew. Whew. All right. Okay, who's up? Well, I am. Um, I think I need to kill some things. Uh, preferably a manifestation of Vandas, I think. Yeah, I don't want him attacking me, do I? No, you don't. Which is too bad, because it's kind of your thing. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get hit by other things. All right. I think what I'm going to do is try to finish him off in one action, Mike. 
with a little one-two punch. How do you feel about that? You're going to wail your bandolier at him? Yep. So first is I'm up six to three, correct? Is there a negative four in the bag? Oh, probably. Uh, let me... Well, there's also the, the ice tokens, right? Which are worth minus one and draw again. And yes, there is okay. one minus four in the bag. Uh, what's the shelter value of your location? Uh, I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at my hand. Ah, uh, so skulls are worth one. Okay. It's important to get this one. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is... I don't, I don't think I'm going to... I need heroic rescue. That's who I am, isn't it? But are you ever going to be near me? I mean, ideally towards the end we will. Because we're going to have to find right. a place to, to shelter and then get all the clues off. Right. Well, I'm still going to spend it, so I'm up four. I have another one. I apologize. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. It was worth it. So that hits him and does one. So then I get to, in the same thing, do it again at plus two, right? Yeah. Okay. Minus two. And only if I fail do I grab that card, right? Correct. All right, so that guy's dead. And then, dude, should I just end this thing? Or do I let it hit me? You know what? I'm just going to punch it. All right. Just a, a, a normal punch. Okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm up four. Yep. Okay. Uh, four. Yep, that does it. You're up three, right? Um, no, I think... Oh, yeah, three. Sorry. Regardless, I hit him. All right. All right. That's me. I just started being me. Nice. Dude, nice. that was exciting. Totally was. Okay, watch this. Old key watching. ring. Oh, oh my goodness, that's plus what does that do for one, you? two, plus two, I think. Okay. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so I get that clue. Old key ring, I discard it when there's no resources on it. I'm now going to uh, tap scavenging and pull old key ring back to my hand. I'm then going to use uh, shrewd dealings and play that for free in every sense of the word. Oh, Bob Jenkins. So that was my first action. <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to tap the telescope and see what's... Which one do you want me to look at next? Up to you, brother. Up to you. Let me check snow graves, because I honestly don't remember what it is. <laughs> uh, three shrouds, six clues, five shelter, and it looks like we can get green soapstone from this location. Well, I like green soapstone. <clears throat> I'm guessing we want to recover supplies. I mean, there are supplies. So, you know, useful to have, right? I'm guessing when you're at camp, it's going to ask you if you have certain things. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Will I, Mike? <laughs> will I? You totally will. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to investigate normally here. Oh, wait. This. Yeah, never mind. I'm investigating normally. Ooh. Frost token. So that's minus that's one. That's minus one, right? Draw again. That's fine. I got Look at it. That. Oops. Oop. Okay, go away. There. <laughs> I now have four clues. Which means you can go anywhere. I can't go to Crystalline Cavern. I can't go to Remnants of Lakes Camp. Oh, that's also going to be a good shelter place, huh? All right. Is it worth going down to the snow graves? Which sounds a little grim, to be honest with you. It's a little grim, eh? But, dude, go there. Where do we want... we got a bit of time left, hey? We're definitely going to need... We do. ...a lot of clues to get into... I mean, five shroud. That's a lot. Like, six clues at five shroud... 
If I were to without shenanigans, right? Like I mean, I have to recur my gravedigger shovel, and that's not going to happen. I don't have enough money for well connected to really pay off. I don't see that working. That's the only. The next highest one is snow graves. I see you go to the grave, see what's up. And just try to get it, and then we have it, if anything. Well, do we know it's shroud? Three. I didn't remember, okay. It's three, and there's only four clues there. And you had to spend your whole clues to get there? Yes. And it's in the middle of nowhere. What was the shelter value? Five. So it's the... That's pretty good. It's the highest one we can get to. It seems like a middle of the road, right? Right. There's probably some sixes up, up above us. Who Maybe knows? you should um, leave the graves and come towards me. Because I'm, I'm no longer, like, mobile. Okay. Without your clues. You know what I mean? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Do I... I'll be mobile next turn. I want to take a dollar because that puts me above my threshold for my... Um, that's fine. I don't, I don't need you at this moment. Yeah. Okay. But that's yeah, fine. that's a good plan. Why don't I go up there? But if you want to get back to the crash site or something, start making your way back. Yeah. Uh, I'll just Have you the... already done all your actions? Yeah, I'll get the... I, I got the dollar, so I'm good. Okay. All right, so it is now the monster phase. I'm punched in the face by a skittering nonsense. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do? Take a tiki card. And punch it right back <laughs> as Daniela Reyes. There you go. It just hit me for no reason. So it also does a horror, right? Was it a horror? I'm sorry. It I... does both. One of each. I'm going to take... You know what? My teddy bear is going to suffer for the first time. I mean, darn well better. Mr. Paddington. <laughs> All right. It is now upkeep, yeah? Upkeep. Oh, did you give me a Tekaliki? I didn't take one. Uh, no, I did not. So... This right. card here, shuffle that in your deck. Don't want to, but I will. Oh, I got my cherished keepsake, my teddy bear. Things are looking up. Evidence. Wish I had that last turn. Ha! <laughs> because that's the only way I get clues. All right. Um. First Doom, bad cards. I've just drawn I have. Dr <laughs> I have drawn... Ancient Evils. I have drawn Skittering Nonsense. Good lord, that's a four we four fleetness? It's going to be hard for you to run away from. I've got an impromptu barrier that puts me up. That puts me even with it. Can't that? you hit it in the head with a shovel? I have to play my shovel. Oh. And... That would make me a five on a two, so that is doable. Don't you wish that you were with me? Totally. Totally. <sighs> well, we're only two locations apart. I think Tennessee Sour Mash is just one of the most fun cards in this game. I know. The whole like visual of just breaking the bottle. Yep. You know? Sadly, I cannot heroic rescue you. Because A, I pitched it for my hand, and B, you're very far away. Um, why don't you go first, sir? I so don't like this. Uh... What are you doing this turn? Uh, unclear. Because I'm spending my whole turn fighting this thing. Oh, Antarctic Wind should be gone. You're spending your whole turn fighting? Yeah. Because um, it's one turn to get my shovel out and then two swings to kill it. So I'll tell you what I'll do then. You trust me, right? Totally. One, two. Bob! Thanks, Bob. What are you doing? I, I was an idiot. <laughs> Bob! <laughs> I don't mind saying Are there saying any it. clues where you are, though? No. no clues where you no, are. No, there isn't. Ugh. <sighs> I mean, it would have been nice if I just moved. Yeah, I didn't want to take two damage and two horror. Right. Um, for my last action, I will engage the nonsense. Oh, you're engaging it. Okay. Yeah, I want it to hit me. Gotcha. 
Uh, do you want the plan to still be the same then? Yeah, you need to go up north and open things up. So I'll, follow, I'll follow you. We're going up north then. Okay, that's the plan. So say what, what do you think? I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, I just. just I mean, stop it. where I just was. Stop in the treacherous path. Get those clues. And... One. Two. Oof, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Unless you think the remnants of Lake's camp is something we can do. Oh. Fine. Before you leave, why don't you telescope that? Telescoping the remnants of Lake's camp. And we have three shroud, six clues. Shelter, seven. That's Testing's a fist. Let's let's try to get to the remnants of Lake's camp. Okay. In that case, I need four clues. I can you need get, four more clues. I can so get head the clues up, so up yeah. there. That should be easy enough, right? It's doable. I'm I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared of my treachery. But at least I have a cherished stake, which I can put out for free. No, no, dude, it's like one shot territory, pretty close. So, but now I'm oh, safe. Now you're now a I'm hero, safe. Bob. No, I'm not. I'm a sleaze bag. Hey, I found this teddy bear. I found this teddy bear in the mountains. Think I can sell it? Yes. <laughs> Later. One, <laughs> two. I did my free action already, so I will investigate using the old key ring. And we will get a minus one. That is awesome. That goes away. Right on. I get one clue, but more importantly, I get to scavenge something awesome. Uh, I guess it's going to be leather coat or flashlight. I love that all you sell is stuff that you've used. Well, yeah, everything's used, or You're it's like in the a trash can. Thrift store. Hey, I found this flashlight. Sweet. Want to buy a flashlight? No. You sure? It's got a battery in it. Hell, man, I'm <laughs> waiting for you to buy my jury rigged sledgehammer if I ever try it. <laughs> oh my goodness! If I could just Bob, get a hot streak. <laughs> Bob, I plan on meeting you at the precarious ice sheet. Sounds good. All right. Monster phase, I'm hit for one of each again. I'll take the damage. And I'll take the horror this time. And I will hit it for one. Dude, that is such a fun little ability. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I could kill it right now with a counter punch. But I want to be where there are clues. I know. It's, a, it's so tough with that. Dude, you know what? I might actually drag this asshole up with me. If you go to the precarious ice sheet. Yeah, let him hit me. All right, anyway, upkeep. Another vicious blow. There's my wing in it. All right. Um, we're at three doom, sir. Excellent. And I have drawn me a through the ice. Attach the nearest location without a copy. That's an additional cost for you to enter or leave. That's unfortunate. Uh, I can help you with that. How? I brought Roald Ellsworth with me. Then you have to come back down? No, I don't. Okay, during any investigator's turn, exhaust him, spend a supply. That treachery oh. does not exist. I've got I a polar vortex. Really like... Oh, here we go. If, you end, if I end my turn here, each card you control with health, including your investigator, takes one direct damage. Okay, Polar Vortex is at my location. I just won't plan on staying here. All right. Okay. Alright. Can I go? You may go. Uh, Daniel, so, I am going to exhaust Roald Ellsworth and choose your treachery. I love you. It's blank. Can I ask you a question about timing? Sure. When am I hit by this ding-dong? If I were to move with him... Right before the hit. Sorry, I move before Sorry. the hit. No, no, no. You you get hit first, and then you move. I'm almost positive. I see. So it actually makes no sense to do that. All right. So I'm just going to punch it in the face. Okay. Uh, yep. 
Ooh, what's a tablet? Hey, Jesse. Hey, Catherine. Minus three. Uh, so I just win. So I will kill him and get another Teco. Mm. Here you go. Thanks, Mike. All right, so he's dead. That was action one, two, three. I'll meet I said you there. I meet you here. I'll meet yep. you here. Okay, so, uh, man, I got wing it. Oh, go wait, now. Mike, we need more clues, dude. We need eight, right? Oh, I guess we can go back south to the snowdrifts, right? Yeah, we can always go through yeah. the snowdrifts. Oh, I feel bad, though, not exploring more. Well, as we're getting the clues here, we can open up more, right? Okay. It's, it's a weird mechanic. Like, if we're both at this location... We can either one of us can spend each other's clues to move. So if I'm sitting at Lake's camp trying to remove all the clues, you can spend the clues moving, trying to get out to other places. Well, I see. other places okay. meaning yeah, icy yeah. ways because that's all you can do. But yeah, because there's what there's three more locations we haven't seen, right? <clears throat> okay. Correct. Uh, that's me done. Hi, chat. How's everybody doing? Thanks for coming. Great to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, and everyone's saying, just remember, um, Daniel, that your ability does not work if you provoke the attack of opportunity. Oh, thank you. Yes. Now, here's a trick that we discovered last time. It's only if, if he provokes, provokes it. it. So if yeah. I provoke the attack and he heroic rescues me, he gets to uh, trigger it. Yeah. It's great. All right, get over here. Okay, get over here, so Bob. I need this clue first. So I'm going to do the old key ring trick. I'm not going to wing it. Uh, no, I'm saving it. Uh, what is this? Shelter shelter one. That's fine. Uh, so the old key ring goes away. I scavenge it back. I put it into play for free with uh, shrewd <laughs> dealings. That's redonk. Wait till you see what he does with the Eon chart when I sell it to Joey the Rat for $2 and then put it out again and then use it again the same turn. Yeah, he's crazy. Okay, so that's uh, action one. Action. That's the thing that you learn. You learn something like that from uh, Ben, right? A little bit. He went overboard uh, because he had two scavengings Joey, out. Yeah. <laughs> Joey the rat was obnoxiously awesome. All right, All right. now I'm going to play winging it for a dollar. All right. Am I? Hey, Bob. Hello, hello. I don't see this... Uh... You don't have to wing it if you don't want. The hard thing about survivors is that their investigate actions are all on the damn cards. So you can't yeah. combo anything. No. Okay, so I'm just going to use the key <laughs> ring. Uh, it's, I'm, so you're up. I'm four to two. And uh, what the heck? I'm going to pitch my well connected because I don't need it. So I'm five to two. Uh, Oof, good call. I passed. But not by two. Not by two. That's like, well, I, my scavenging is only once per turn anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah you've already used it. Uh, so All that's right. one. And I, I will can maybe use get the, the last clue. I'm going to use the pocket telescope. And we're going to look at the other side of the icy waste. And what have we seen? Shelter four. Treat the first oh. frost token as a minus three. I feel no reason to go there. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Other than, what was this uh, shroud again? Three? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're going to have to go through the snowdrifts again. <laughs> With Because that doesn't go away. And I can only blanket for one investigator's turn. I have I have better odds getting through there. Well, can't we go to the icy ways? We have to spend two clues to get in. Which then we can't get into the remnants of Lakes Camp. I could... I Unless we find something at the icy waste, it is only two shrouds. It's only two. I think we go that route. Okay. We don't ever have to go back to the snowdrifts. Sounds good to me. All right, we're done. We're done. All right, monsters. There are no monsters. Upkeep. Well, I can hero rescue you again. Oh, perception. You know what? Tell me. I have a perception now. That crash site's looking really doable. I think we want supplies, man. If you could 
do that. That would be great. You didn't draw... Okay, draw an enemy then, so that you can evidence. Uh, uh, <laughs> do, do what I can. Um, well, if I heroic rescue, I can use evidence, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, as it's long when... as you kill it. Yeah. Uh, that's four doom, sir. And I have drawn a skittering nonsense, just like you asked me to. Hooray! And I have drawn ice shaft. This is the damage one. Testing fleetness three. Do I have any fleetness pips? None. Hold on. I might. I have a dodge. I'm a counterpunch. You're even? I'm even with it, which is okay. Uh, what is I... our shelter value right now? Four? Two. No, it, it's like two, so the skulls are only a one. So if I could put you up one, that'd be pretty good, right? It would, but it's not the end of the world. It's only damage. I do have a leather coat that I could oh, possibly get Oh, I have true grit, back. dude. I can, I can take it. Oh, okay. Well, then here we go. That's why I have true grit. For this very uh, moment. Minus two. Well, that's that's worse. Okay. So I failed. That's uh, two You would have failed with with my help anyway. Yeah. Two damage. I get a tiki card. I'm going to put it all on true grit. <clears throat> Thank you. Because I love you, man. I believe your honeyed words as a salesman. <laughs> uh... okay. I'm about to have three Tekaliki cards in my deck. Yeah, they, they add up really fast. Now, the good news is I'm not going to take horror for cycling my deck because I have tiki cards in there. And my weaknesses haven't okay. come out because I have tiki so cards why in there. why don't I go first? Sure. All right, so I'm going to play Vicious Blow on this skittering nonsense. Puts me uh, 62 up four. Okay. Oof. You dead. He's dead, and I'll take another Here you go. of these hideous, hideous things. Thank you, sir. Eleven left. We better start drawing them. Then I'll spend a dollar to fa uh, spend, not add. Spend a dollar to play evidence and grab that last clue. Huzzah. You got a clue? You got Mike, a clue. I figured something out. That's awesome. All, All right. right. Now... I could conceivably move into the remnants of that camp or go up, right? Uh, Yeah, if you go up, I can help spend the clues. Well, you'd have to. Yep. I'll spend so, one if you want to spend one. I think we need... Is, that's it? Oh, I'll spend mine, yeah. Okay, mine is gone. Yours is gone. So I've done one thing, yeah? Yep, now you've done two. In ten more miles, we came to an unbroken waste virtually without signs of sentient artifice. Damn. There we All go. All right. Treat the modifier, the first snowflake, revealed as minus three. Oh, yeah. Instead of minus one. And we've got the icebreaker landing coming out from here. And the barrier camp. Icebreaker landing. That sounds good. I think we need a telescope to tell us what's what. Yeah. That telescope was such a good pull. It's such a good pull. It's really helpful. It seems cheating, actually. One, two. It's going to take me three actions to get in there. Why? Well, or sorry, four. Because I want to go to the crash site and get that supply. Right, right. That's what we said, right? We did. We said that... Um, Mike, I have one last thing, and I don't have much to do, so I think I'm actually going to take a card. Okay. Medical student showed up. How nice. I could use a medical student. Indeed. I'm a little hurt. Uh, you're up, brother. All right. I'm going to move for one. I'm going to, for two, spend a perception, do this skill test. Six on a three, minus two. That's a pass. And I draw into Schaffner's catalog. Look at that. Nice. All right. Uh, 
less useful at the moment, but there we go. So I'm just going to put, I'll just put a giant resource on this one just to say what we did. It, it's going to be useful to have them marked off. For our campaign log later? Yeah. Okay. So then I will move one and I'm here. One, two. I think you've done everything, right? In my head, I thought there was something else I could do, but I guess there isn't. Okay. You can play the catalog. I can play the catalog for one. And why not? Okay. Make your shovel cheaper. It will. All right, monsters, no monsters, right? Right. So let's upkeep. Bandages. Cool. Okay. Mike, we are at five doom, sir. Yeah, we have a lot of clues to get. I have drawn a polar mirage attached to the nearest location with at least one clue. After you discover or take control of one or more clues at attached location, discard each non-weakness card in your hand. Yes, you read that right. What? Yup. That card sucks. <laughs> well, thank God you have what's-his-face. Yeah. Holy cannoli. Yeah. And that's where, like, where we need to be. Yeah. Yikes. That's going to slow us down a little bit. That's ugly. Uh, a paraphobia test will X where X is your location's shelter value. Oh boy, what do we? What's my shelter? Two. Thank goodness. What does a paraphobia mean? Uh, Fear of the cold. May, I don't know. Maybe someone can chat. Tell us. So if I fail, I must decide. Take a horror for each point I fail by. Place two clues on my location, or add a frost token to the chaos bag. Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna pitch my sour mash, and I am up by one. Ooh. Down by three. I'm going to take two horror, and my cherished keepsake goes to the discard pile. And you draw two cards. And keep each weakness. Discard the top two cards. Uh, that's the devil, so I can't play assets anymore. And that is the uh, take one damage. Okay, take a damage, and then this goes to the bottom of the deck. But it could be back again because whenever you're supposed to take a Tekka Leaky or a Tekeli Lili, you shuffle it, right? Nope. I think it says that, doesn't it? Shouldn't. Oh, no. You're right. All right. <clears throat> and the devil is not great. No, so that's going to slow me down a heck of a lot. And there's that damn polar mirage. Yeah. Okay. I need to. Yuck. You need to yuck? Yuck. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend three dollars. Or I guess is it my so, turn? Do you, do you, do uh, my turn? Well let's talk about that. Um I'm clearly not finding clues at Um anywhere I am. Oh the barrier camp I bet is really juicy. Can you can you shine a light on that or it can only be connected, right? It can only be connected. So can you join me? Uh, if you want me to go first, then yes. I I, I do, Mike. All right. Uh, this guy I can only use for items, hey? One, two, three. I have now put out the devil. Oh, I hate that weakness. Okay. Uh, that was bad. I will then move for my second action. For my third action... I will, well, first of all, I'm going to exhaust rolled. Third action, I'm going to exhaust the old key ring. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. Hey, can I ask a question? How yeah. bad would it be for you to lose your hand? Bad enough. 
Okay. Huh, that's unfortunate. Where did the devil go? I played it. It's off to the side. Oh, okay, it's not in your tarot spot. No, my tarot spot is... <laughs> Taken by scavenging. scavenging. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, so I was 4 minus 3 is a 1, so I get the clue, but I don't... Yeah. Uh, nothing else really good. Okay, so I'm going to, I guess, spend one thing and put out bandages. So I have bandages. Do we need that more than your shovel? I have two hand slots already full. Okay. And I will use the pocket telescope to peer into the barrier camp. Shelter seven. What is this one? A seven as well? That was a seven, yeah. This is a higher shroud. Uh, will four test to convince some of the other explorers here to give you something useful. And you get dynamite. Hmm. Okay. I feel like the all things being equal, the lake camp is better. It's certainly an easier shroud for not a seeker. Yeah, I think we have to head there, dude. Okie dokie. Are you done? Uh, that's... Play the, the devil, moved, invest. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. I'm not taking control of clues, so I'm not doing any of that nonsense. All right, so what can I do? So for $2, a medical student has shown up. Heal one damage and one horror from an investigator or one and one? Dude, that's legit. Yeah. And yes, you get course credit for this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, thank you, chat. It is fear of the infinite is a paraphobia. Thanks, Gather. Of the infinite? Of the infinite. While well, he's staring off into the, the infinite sure. snow, ice. Oh, Catherine, that... This might be my new favorite word. I'm going to take two dollars, or a dollar rather. <laughs> I want it to be two dollars, and then I'm going to draw. Where are these Tekaliki cards? Oh, hey, bro, I got a wrench. Oh my God, Mike, have you already used your superpower? Well, yeah, yeah, it has to be during my turn. Oh, all right. Well, I have something you can help me buy. I can certainly help with that. Now. I'm going to have to discard a card. All right. Monster phase, no monsters, right? Let's upkeep. One two punch I thought was pretty sexy. I'm going to. I got a straight cat. I think I'm going to get rid of another medical student. Makes sense at this point, right? So far. Who did you heal, by or the way? Me. Nice. Yeah. Do I want to get rid of the medical student or do I want to get rid of. Something like, maybe I'll never jury rig anything, but I might jury rig my wrench. Oh, dude, <laughs> you get plus four fist for that attack. I'm going to get rid of the medical student. Okay, Mike, we're at six badness. All right, here we go. All right, one ancient evils. Oh, yeah. With at Nearest. least one clue and without it. So let's put that... Let's put it where nearest. we're not going. It's got to be nearest. So, precarious ice sheet. Right here. It has to have a clue on it. Oh, does it? So why don't we go no, there? That, that's, that technically doesn't have a clue. Because we haven't gone there. We're just looking at it. We've just looked at it. We, we have no locations with clues except ours I think it whiffs dude it whiffs I'm okay with that are you okay with that I'm okay with that and I'm I have, really okay with that I have drawn white out each investigator Ooh. test location gets minus one to Everything. all their skills get rid of it at the end all right that's gross that's yeah. you know what 
Hey, Bob. Mm -hmm. I have this wrench in my backpack, but I can't quite seem to get it out. What does it cost? Two dollars. Tell you what. How about I give you this dollar store wrench I found? Oh, that's like the same thing. It's like the okay. same thing. It's yours. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yep. Uh, all right. So, yeah. Well, I don't like the spot I'm in. Okay, we're going to old key ring. You're going to lose your hand. Oh, sorry, I, I rolled a course. Doi. Okay. All right. So that kicks out the old key ring. And I can you... scavenge back my cherished keepsake. Oh, interesting. That gives me eight clues. Which... Does it? How are we doing on supplies that we could gather? We have one. We've gotten one, right? And there's one in the Crystalline Cavern, one at the Remnants of Lakes Camp, one at the Snow Graves, uh, one, one at the Barrier one Camp. One the barrier oh, camp. by the way, I might as well tap the uh, the telescope. Just to see what's going on. Just see what's at the yeah, Icebreaker's landing. landing. Yep. Shelter 5, 2 Shroud. Test a book to search for a small radio. Oof. Well, if you succeed, either remove a frost token from the chaos bag or record small radio. Ooh. Costs us a lot of clues, son, to get there. I know. Yeah. Why don't you open up the camp? Yep. I am walking to Lake's camp while I can. Eight, it was eight clues, right? Eight clues. Okay, and now I get to... Mike, I don't know what this means, but can I share a message I just got? Uh, sure. From one, of our, from one of our viewers? She said, you guys are cute together. You're, you're watching a different chat than I'm watching. No, no, it's a private message. Oh, cool. Yeah. You, you guys are cute together. That's really sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> um, Mike, if I'm going to be cute with anyone, I want it to be with you. Aw, thanks, bud. Yep. I mean it, man. You know I'm a dog lover too, right? Yeah, it's your one, <laughs> it's actually your one problem. I thought being a seeker was my one problem. Well, it's weird that you like those things too. <laughs> but <laughs> that's something we can get by. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Thanks, Catherine. Uh, well, the message I got from chat was jury rig a katana onto that mechanic wrench. <laughs> jury rig a what? A katana onto that mechanics wrench. I'm sure oh. you can do it. Will uh, do. So I have one more action, and I'm actually going to spend it putting out a cherished keepsake. That's sweet. Yeah. You were you were low on teddy bears for a while. I was low on teddy bears. All right, you done? I'm done. Well, I'm going to meet you in camp, sir. It's so lovely over here. It's lovely. Thing one. Oh, it is nice. Yeah. Thing one. Thing two, Mike. Since I have no one to wrench, and I'm not sure I even want to jury rig it yet. Really? Really? Well, I want to see what happens with um, this attempt to... What's one-two punch? Oh, I already did that. I'm just curious what you're jury rigging then. I guess you well, I'll, jury rig the, I'll, I'll jury rig the wrench, but I want to see first if I can get the supplies out of here. Oh. So, uh, you know, do you have a, a fist you could throw? I do. It's my grave digger shovel, but I can still do it. You want to do that, and I will throw the... All right, so that puts me at six. <laughs> hey, Kevin, thanks. 
What did he say? Oh, everyone in chat's like, yeah, you guys are cute together. <laughs> He's like, the cutest. <laughs> oh. Oh, what have um, you got? All right, so then what I'm going to do is use my counterpunch fist. So that's, I'm at seven. So I'm up three, which at least gets me over that tablet. Yeah, that tablet. There's two tablets in that bag. Thanks does it to... get me? Does it get me, Mike, over our shelter skull? No, it does it? Does our it? shelter is now a minus four. Okay, that's what we get so, for taking the big yep. guns. Yep, yep. Then I'm going to oh, heroic rescue is who I am. You know what? I'm going to let the gods decide this, Mike. In the in the lightning fast action window, the lightning bolt, I'm going to spend two to keep the faith. Please put four blessed tokens in there. Boom, 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 boom. Love it. Okay. So now I'm at plus three, and I'm just going to leave it there. So you counted mine? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh. Okay, I wasn't out of tact, but uh we found those supplies. All right, so we now have wooden sledge. Okay. Um then for my final action, I will get a jury rig my ranch. <laughs> Is there a way to like put cards under cards in this? Uh, you have to turn off the snapping and. Okay, so just leave it underneath. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Um, that's me. Well, then I guess we're upkeeping. Yep, no monsters. Upkeep. Hey, Tekalili. Me too. I got me one. Too. Take a damage. That's mine. If it is your turn, lose an action. Otherwise, lose an action during your next turn. Well, ain't that just sort of. Dickish. Indeed. Okay. Well, keep uh, my deck. Do some reading. <gasps> Do I? It's that time again. It's that time again, my friend. It dwells inside. What dwells inside? I wonder. These things, these manifestations, they're not beasts or even alien creatures like those Dyer and Danforth encountered in their last expedition. You're not even sure they are entities at all. They have no shape, consisting of an almost protoplasmic substance that seeps back into the ice when harmed or whenever you escape their clutches. Given the persistence of these entities and the inclement, deadly conditions of the Antarctica, you know that you won't survive the night without finding shelter. Just as you are pondering what your next move should be, the ice beneath you rumbles with tremendous force, letting out a terrifying groan. An earthquake? One of your party asks over the raucous noise. No, that's impossible, another replies. You share a dreadful glance. Could it be one of those things? I bet it is. Spawn the Terror of the Stars at the revealed location with the highest shelter value. I do believe That's us. that is us. So, uh, yeah, here he is. He is Hunter and Massive. And he has nine hit points. And while he's ready... We cannot resign at its location or discover clues at its location. Got it. My kingdom for a sledgehammer. He's a uh, he's elite. Does your ability work on elites? Yep. Oh my god, that's so good. I might let him hit me to exhaust him. Yeah. Because I can't and... do anything while he's here. Now, Mike, yes, you can, because I happen to have Heroic Rescue in hand. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, in that case, <laughs> let me let me read the last one. This is another yep. seven doom threshold. Running out of time, the sun hangs low in the sky, but never sets. Your party is exhausted from the long, arduous day. Though the sky is never plunged into the dark of night, you know it's only a matter of time before you are forced to make camp. Okay. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Uh, and then, sadly, there's still bad cards we have to draw. Oh, yeah, look at that. I have drawn a man... Oh, God. A manifestation of madness. I've drawn a glacial phantasm. What does that mean? 
It, he's a four fight, four health, two evade. At the end of the enemy phase, if he's ready, move at once towards the location with the most investigators, and then uh, we shuffle to to kill elite guards into our decks. So uh, yeah, I'll be trying to evade that guy. Okay, so we got to be smart about this. Yeah. All I know is we're probably probably losing a medical student. <laughs> okay, well, are we going to do the heroic rescue thing? Well, I think we're going to exhaust the big fella and then take care of these little ones. I'm going to try to impromptu barrier mine. Okay, so... Now, remind me what impromptu barrier... It's just an attack from your discard, right? Uh, no. It is an evade from my discard. Okay, but it, it's not going to get you hit, right? So, uh, well, hang on. What, what it will do? Uh, I may be able to evade other things if I succeed by a lot. If I succeed by a lot, I won't. Okay. I, if I draw the elder, the elder sign, I totally will. But okay, but if I do that, I can exhaust one of them, and then we can do this heroic rescue thing. Uh, heroic rescue is not elite. Oh. But my superpower has nothing to do with Elite. Shoot. So I can't go first. So or how do are we going to do this? Mm, I'm just not awesome at evading at the moment. Well, can you invade the big ticket... I'd be I mean, as up. long as well, maybe I should go first because as long as I'm fighting, I can maybe clear things out, right? Right. All right. So the manifestation of madness. What does my wrench do? So my wrench. Choose an enemy at your location. That enemy. I can. Oh. I can have your phantasm attack me. Right. The, the thing is, dude. what? We're the big dude. Oh, that's a lot. Well, of... That's a lot of damage. So I'm thinking. But it would exhaust. I have me. your, I have your guy attack me, right? Or yeah, I could just exhaust the big fella. That's the benefit, right? Because he's going to hit us anyways at the end of this turn. But if he's exhausted, he won't. And then we're free to do whatever we want. But I just taken a big hit from him. Yep. We have to exhaust him somehow. I guess if... No, because I've got... But the wrench is beautiful for, like, if things have already attacked me, right? Yes. So what if we clear out the little guys? Oh, wait, hang on. We're, I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the chat here. Black Horror says the wrench really enables her. Use the wrench to proc her ability, evade the lead enemy, and play dodge to avoid all the damage. Catherine says you have a dodge. I do have a dodge. No, I understand that. So you could just evade the enemy, basically. The problem is, is I, I'm trying to think of who I want to attack me so that I can actually deal with so Manifestation of Madness, when he attacks, shuffle the top. So a dodge still means he attacks, right? Yes. So he needs to die. He needs to die. Right? And so I might not be dodging this turn, because I might have to, like... Oh, because you don't have the money. I might have to want to punch him. Whereas I can get the mechanics wrench... And you can't deal with your guy at all in front of you? I might be able to evade him. I would be... Right. With my plan... All right. I'm Do you want to go first, then? Sure. Well... Or wait, no, I need to exhaust... You need to exhaust the big, the big guy, or I'm doing nothing big this guy. turn. All right, so what I'm going to do is mechanics wrench the big guy. Okay. He so attacks me. Two and two. Two and two. I'm going to... We're going to take it all. 
Oof. And I will exhaust it. Also, once you've been attacked, your wrench is plus two fight and plus one damage. It is, but it's only against the enemy that attacked you. Right? Yeah. Mechanics wrench only gives yeah. you the bonus for the for the, the boss now. Yeah. Okay. So the boss is now exhausted. Done. And I don't think I'm going to be beating up the boss. Okay, so I've done nothing yet action-wise, right? Right. All right. Ooh, so I will... Once. I will one-two punch the guy in front of me. Okay? Okay. Sorry, I've got no fists. That's okay. I'm at uh, six to three right now. Lordy, and the skulls are minus four. It's going to have to be it. Well, I'm going to get rid of Heroic Rescue. Okay. Okay. That hits him for one. Done. My follow-up attacks at plus four. That kills him. Nice. That's just one action, right? That's one action. Okay. <laughs> I have no money. There's no one on me, right? No one's on you. All right, I will take a dollar. And for my last action, I will engage the Glacial Phantasm. Holy crap. Thank you, man. Now, he's he's probably going to go off. Right? He's going to oh, do his thing. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Unless, unless, unless you... you let me hit him and then you do my evadey thing or maybe you do your evadey thing and i actually just mechanics wrench the bad guy yeah and start chipping away at him so do i will it. do a fight on him okay which is plus two what's his attack value uh he's a four all right and i'm at with a, with a jury rig i will spend this which puts me at plus four against him and then i will vicious blow as well okay so i hit him for three i think right boom just do that two more times and we got him right the wrench is plus three right now or three damage i mean yeah wrench is two vicious blow is one yep yeah. yep yeah. okay and that's that's me. Let's uh, let's get lucky. I'm gonna pitch. This does hinge on you, of course. I know. Evading. Uh, was I up by three? I was a four, and he's a minus one. I actually did it. So impromptu wow. barrier. Yeah. So I succeeded by zero, so I don't get to exhaust anybody else. But then it gets shuffled back into my deck. This guy is exhausted. Dude, that was huge. <laughs> that was huge. It really was. Uh, okay, I'm going to spend... Oops, not bandages. Get a free Dude. flashlight, right? Dude! What? Oh, no, never mind. I can't heal your med student. Never mind. I was okay, gonna... You can heal me, can't you? Yes. So take one damage off your guy. But I I don't think it matters unless you want to do it. Well, I'll do it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You're doing it? Yeah. You're you're one less. And I should have remembered it when I did my tiki card. Okay, so that's flashlight, which was for one sure dealings is so good. Okay, so that was my free action. And I've got two actions left, so let's uh, let's investigate. That's minus two, so I'm at a shroud one location. Nice. Uh, I do not succeed by two. Winging it just isn't enough right now. I want it in my. But at least it puts it in your discard pile, right? 
even when it's there, it, minus one right now is not enough. Okay, let's wing it. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> uh, can you scavenge from that? I can actually scavenge from that. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's. Uh, is there a key ring in our future? Oh, there's definitely. Oh, your hands are full. Your hands are full. Well, my flashlight won't be there forever. True. There we go. Just wait till this deck goes nuts. Okay, <laughs> so that's uh, that's two clues off that location. All right. Are we done? We are done. Monster phase. Nothing other than they ready, right? So upkeep. Oh, my Tekaliki. Oh, discard a card at random stashed. from your hand. Oh. I think I'm going to oh. discard <laughs> dodge randomly. Yeah. So I've got two weaknesses in here, I think. No, the Tekaliki deck has the, the Kelly Lili deck has fifteen cards in it. So there's one. I think it's in my deck. Okay, that means I have greed in my last four cards. Okay. Uh, one doom. Bad cards. Mine is zero visibility. It just costs you to leave a location. Well, I'll never leave again. Guess we're not leaving. Uh, okay. Testing fleetness. Here we go. What? You actually made it. Just a nice shaft. You actually made it. Why on earth do you have an agility of three, Bob? Because I had to run you're... from these loan sharks. Yeah, yeah, your shirt, <laughs> your slippery little fingers. Have to run from the people I sold shoddy wrenches to. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, the enemies are ready. Yeah. Where's the uh, glacial? Are you taking the phantasm? Yep. Oh, my. Um, I'll take it. All right. I have no cards. Yeah, that's what those tiki cards do to you. All right, you ready? I, I might as well go first. Go for it. Okay, so this Phantasm is a four attack. All right, so oh, I just want to hit the big guy, don't I? He's worth victory. Well, the problem is, is... Clearing this Phantasm is not going to... I mean, how badly do we need to deal? I mean, Jesus. So, so the big guy is going to hit us for a lot. Right? And we can't resign. So do I, do I keep on making him hit me and try to, like, I have no cards in hand anymore. He's got to be, well, I can't discover clues there either. And you can't evade him, right? No, my evade card is now in my deck. My evade cards are in my deck or uh, gone for this game, effectively. So should I try to let him hit me again? Please. The problem is, <laughs> you well, totally here's the thing. Like what that. happens when this Glacial Phantasm, if he's ready, move it once towards the location, in play order, we shuffle the top card of the Tiki League and enter our deck. Yeah. So we're basically going to be... So that's just going to happen? It might have to. I don't know. Okay. No, it's what it is. All right. All right. So I'm going to let the big fella hit me. I'm going to exhaust my wrench. Doctor. The doctor that I've forgotten completely about. <laughs> is going to take... Two damage. Now remember, her damage does not heal at the end of this scenario. That damage is she, on her for good. She heals it. Okay. As an action, but yes. Yes, she does. And then I'll ditch my keepsake and I'll take one. 
Okay. And he's exhausted. Now, I can wail on this dude every time, right? Oh, yeah. Like, the mechanic's wrench does not... It's not once... If this thing has attacked me... Yeah. You all get... my fight actions can do this, right? Yeah, you have three attacks at plus one damage right now. Okay. So, I will do the following things. I will hit this guy again. I will jury rig. So I'm at plus <clears throat> four for this attack. So I'm in nine. Okay. Okay. You have succeeded. That's two damage. Um, I also, uh, when he hit me, I exhausted him, by the way. I assumed that. Okay. Then I will do it again with my jury rig. Uh oh yeah, you can just do that. Now you exhaust it. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it does not discard. Does not discard. All right. All right. So that's another two. Now here's the trick, Mike. Do you have any fist to throw at me? None. I've got a book and a nothing. All right, because now I'm seven to him, which is four, right? Yeah. And this hit we we really need, right? Yeah, we would prevent. It could potentially just wipe him out. Right. This hit kills him, right? If I can do it. This hit kills him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I, I kept the faith, Mike. You did. He's dead. He is dead. So we have a terror of the stars and the victory display. I have also removed that bless. All right. Good work, Danielle. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, chat? That was Nothing like a wrench. I just beat an elder being to death with a wrench. That was good. That's sexy. All right. I'm I uh, I hey, I I just grabbed some money. That was cool. Okay, but you realize you realize that this phantasm is going to deal with us, right? Unless yeah. you can engage him and evade him. Not happening. Uh, at least the yeah. odds are not good enough for me to do that. That's fine. I am going to wing it. I'm only up by two. And that's well, all that. I needed. So I will take two clues off this location. And I will throw winging it in the discard, in the in my deck. All right. Uh, I will then investigate off flashlight. So this is now a shroud one. Uh, okay. I think you made it. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the bless. Well, were the frostbites doubled or something on this one? Nope. Were they minus three? Nope. Uh, somewhere else, right? That was somewhere else. Okay. And I get to scavenge. So nice! I get to pull something back to my hand. Uh, leather coat, I think, is the good one. Sure. Hmm. <clears throat> And I might as well play it for free. <laughs> I don't I I don't have enough space to put all my stuff. Here, let's put it up there. It's now in this <laughs> now in my thread area. Okay. Is that right? Three clues? There's should, still three left? I got three clues this time. And one before. No, it's two and then before. one before that. Yeah. There should be three left on the location. I got one before? Okay. Well, wait. How many did you get this turn? I'm at five. I think there's only one left on Remnants of Lakes Camp. Crud. No. Because we had be. to... Yeah, I think we forgot to take him off because we were emptied out of clues just to get in there. Right? Is that right? Yeah, there's six in there, right? I don't remember getting three. You got two last turn and three this turn. Yeah, I did get three this turn. Yeah. Okay. We just forgot to take him off last turn. All right. Chat, please... Uh... 
yell at me if I'm, I'm doing pretty this wrong. sure. But if the, <laughs> if the chat was why, I mean, I just think we forgot to take him off. Catherine says we need a special Bob play mat. Yes, we do. It needs to be twice as big. Now, Catherine, tell us if we forgot the five. Well, we'll clues, see. but I think I think we just didn't take two off last turn because you just clipped them, <gasps> dude. At the end of the enemy phase, if this thing is ready, we get the tiki cards. Yep. If it attacks they do, you... They do not ready at the end of the enemy phase. They ready during upkeep. They're ready during upkeep. So if you exhaust yeah. it... Yeah, had I exhausted it, yeah. No, no. I had to exhaust it, the main guy. No, at the end of the enemy phase... Which means if he had, when he attacks you in the enemy phase, you can just exhaust him. That can't be. Yeah, <laughs> he, he attacks you. It doesn't say on your turn. It says after an enemy attacks you. That's it. No, no limit per turn. So we shut off his Tekalili thing. Yeah, as long as he attacks you, you shut him off. Well, he attacks me right now. He kills a medical <laughs> student. And he's exhausted. And he's exhausted. So he does not give us things. Nope. All right, upkeep. Upkeep. A sledgehammer here at the end of all <laughs> things. Bob, I need you to buy me a sledgehammer. I'll see what I can do. Uh, to doom. My card is a glacial phantasm. My card is zero visibility. Okay, again. This guy readies. Do you just want to take him? Not really, but... I mean, we're we're very close to getting out of here. Um, Yeah, I mean, if you can finish this up and then I resign while these things are on me, yeah. That's the plan. That's mm -hmm. the plan. Okay. Did, well, Mike, can you go? Did the chat say anything about us miscounting the clues? Because I think uh, they said uh, they thought we forgot to take two off. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. So thanks all. Here we go. I just finished this. Let well, let's see. I'm only up by what am I at? I'm at four to a one. <laughs> <laughs> This expedition is blessed, Mike. I really, really like your uh, your keep faith. That was such a good addition. So I've scavenged <laughs> back some Tennessee sour mash because we're going to celebrate after this adventure. <laughs> and uh, you know what? While I'm at it, uh, you get to put out a sledgehammer. Yep. Oh. You just get to put out a sledgehammer. With my bandolier. With your it bandolier. Works. And then, uh, and then I trigger the action to resign. Okay. Now so we're done. I should probably resign, right? <laughs> uh, no, no, it, it's it's one, it's all or none, actually. On this, it's worded different. Wait, what? Action! If each investigator is here, resign. Everybody, it's everybody at this camp resigns. Oh, you just you just brought it. You just. Gr I just did I it. I got the sledgehammer in my hand and I was about to go hog on these monsters and you like grab me by the coat collar and drag me off. Pretty much. Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh, so you get to advance the act I, deck. I, I should read you a little act card, Mike. Exhausted and terrified by your ordeal. You decide that this is as good a place as any to make camp for the night. Perhaps tomorrow you can salvage some kind of academic value out of this hellish journey. But for now, such things seem trivial. Survival is the only thing in your mind. R1! R1! Mike, are you ready for R1? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. As you make camp, you are haunted by memories of the creatures you encountered in the icy wilds. Such entities should not exist. Not even Dyer's report mentions anything of the kind. Grim silence settles over the expedition team as you set up shelter. No one speaks of what they saw in the frozen wilderness. No one speaks of the awful sounds those monsters made. You can 
only hope that this camp is secluded enough to avoid the attention of those things, whatever they may be. Mike, in our campaign log, can you write camp and next to it record the name of the location that we resigned at? Uh, remnants of Lakes Camp. This location is referred to as the investigator's camp for the remainder of ice and death. Record the camp's shelter value in parentheses next to his name, Mike. Is that seven? That is seven. Okay. Each investigator earns experience equal to the camp's shelter value plus the victory X of each card in the display. Eight experience. Whoa! Yep. In the expedition team section of the campaign log, record the amount of damage and horror in each partner. So, my doctor does have two damage on her. Okay. I regret that. I regret that. At least she can deal with it. So if you have no monsters and you're mm -hmm. waiting for something to do, she can just heal herself. Yeah. Okay. Proceed to checkpoint one. The disappearance. Do not clean up the game yet, Mike. Oh, we won't. You know what, Daniel? I would oh I would like to to read the first part of the disappearance if you don't mind. It's funny you say that because I was just about to ask if you would do that. Lovely. Well, We're so cute together, Mike. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> checkpoint one: the disappearance. Your sleep is anything but pleasant. The maddening cold bites at your flesh, and the ever-howling wind plays tricks on your mind, conjuring images of misshapen, inky forms bursting out of the ground and rending your party hole. Just as you are finally beginning to leave such horrid thoughts behind, your rest is shattered by a startled cry. You awaken to find your camp in shambles, and several of your companions missing. To your dismay, footsteps lead away from the relative safety of your camp and into the frozen wilds beyond. Find and gather the story assets corresponding to the surviving members of the expedition team. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay, okay, okay. so we have uh, the six here. Plus R2, right? Uh, yes. We're just going to shuffle them up. Whoops. Uh, shuffle them up and randomly select a number of them equal to our camp's shelter value. Uh, these ones are safe. Oh, I want to see you do this. Safe, 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 safe. Well, there's one left, Mike. What happens? Okay, the rest of the expedition team went missing in the night. In the expedition team section of the campaign log, write MIA next to the name of each character who went missing. Dr. Amy Kensler! No! <laughs> she is MIA. Dude, isn't she like the lead on this whole thing? Uh yes, she is. Um So now okay. the investigators must decide, Daniel. You have to choose. They're on their own. You will skip the next part of the scenario. Or go after the missing team members. You will play the next part of the scenario. Dude. Are you kidding? We're going after Amy Kensler. They're we're heroes, right? We're heroes. Okay, uh, in that case, Daniel, uh, we are... You might as well go straight to Disappearance 3 for this one, since we'll be... Okay. Yeah. All right. Skip to Disappearance 3 if you wish to do so immediately. Yeah. Or or Disappearance 4 if you wish to take a break and proceed the next time you play. No, that that's more for the pen and paper thing, because it lets you write down... You write down all your locations that you were revealed oh, all that. so oh, basically okay. we're starting on this map this okay. is everything that's revealed right now is revealed okay everything that's see. not not all right so disappearance three says you've decided to go after your missing team members do not remove any locations from play all tokens on these locations are removed and all cards at these locations are discarded as normal that's right yeah okay so uh we stay on the same map Reset each investigator's deck and encounter deck. Yeah. Proceed to Ice and Death Part 2, which we'll do next time. Yes, we will. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so, Daniel. Yeah. What do you think of Antarctica? Dude, that was fun. Isn't it a neat one?
it was nice to um, have my deck not do what it's supposed to do and still do pretty well. Like, Daniel is legit. Yeah. That oh, my goodness. ability is so strong. To evade, like, the evasion thing is, I, I guess I didn't realize how huge that was going to be. You're right. Yeah. Uh, I believe. Like, okay. Oh. Daniel, you have yeah. a Tiki Lee card in your deck. I do. To Kelly Lee. Do so you want I'm, me to, I'm, I'm going to take it out. Just... I'm putting it in your threat area for now. So that okay. when we reload your deck, we'll just be able to drag it in. Okay. Uh, there we go. 8 XP. And you know what's crazy? Like... I don't know what to do with that with Daniela because I level up into cards that I don't have. Yeah. So I'm going to have to make room for stuff. I'm going to, this is difficult deck building choices. Chat real quick. Give me some counsel. What do I level up into as Daniela? I've never played it. Daniela, yeah. We'll give them some time. Uh, I, for me, it's, it's, I just got to get some cool items in my deck. Yeah. That, the Aeon chart's amazing. The skeleton key is amazing. The the gold pocket watch would be amazing. The red clock would be amazing. Yeah, like I, I'm just no longer a guardian. I'm not. I'm not that person anymore. You brought me here, Mike, and now I'm just a survivor. Oh, that's right. You can't even take leveled up safeguard. No. Oh boy. No, I can't. I I become. You know what I become? <laughs> Probably is uh oh remember that campaign oh what's the mailman's name the mail person's name um why am i blanking stella stella Stella. oh my god i I could just become stella oh thank you jesse jesse's got a lot of things okay bangle of jinxes will help you pass a lot of tests brute force if you want to go oh yeah yeah brute force is the one that gives uh gives you lots of damage bonuses Okay. Um, that's if you do basic fights. High level sledgehammer. I agree with that one. Jessica Hyde and Peter, Sil- Peter Sylvester. Yeah, those are good. You'll have to go the charisma route if you want that, but they're pretty good allies. I mean, the that medical student is really earning its weight because it it's effectively a 2-2, right? Yep, yep. For two costs. No, I, I will. I, I know that I will not be doing Peter Sylvester. Okay. I won't go that route. I won't go a charisma route. Um. Fend off. Blood will have blood. Blood will have blood. Which one's that? Wait, fend off. Is that survivor? Sounds like a survivor card. That's the one where the enemy attacks you. And then you attach. It's like handcuffs. The enemy attacks. You're like, nope. You're you're never readying ever again. Like it. I got yeah. lots of things to think about. Bruiser. Oh yeah, bruiser. The, the card pool's really big. Yeah. You got options. Well, thanks, folks. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, I got options. Thank you guys. There you have it. And this is. It's so. It's, now I got to figure out what to get rid of to put those things in oh yeah Mm, that's the trick these characters are really tough to build around sometimes yeah absolutely Mm -hmm. excellent mike this was so much fun i know hey i'm happy to be in the snowy wastes with you (laughs) so uh we'll we'll see what happens next we got a couple surprises possibly on the go and, uh, well, you know, Mike, you had said that this is a um, campaign rife with side quests. Oh, yeah. And it's penciled in, but can I, like, spoil the penciled in? I mean, then if it doesn't happen, but... It's disappointing. But, but I'll just leave random a, a random little trail of clues. Okay, ready? So in two weeks, which is April 11th, Mike... Um, the designer of a side quest might be playing that side quest with us. Ooh. They have said they are available. So, well, 
We'll and, see. And they're willing to play the one they've probably played a million times in playtesting? Yep, they're willing to do it. Probably because they're an absolute sadist. <laughs> that would be awesome. And a hint to Jesse out there. This individual may or may not be um, a game master in games we play. <laughs> well, I, I, hope, I hope, that hope, that doesn't, <laughs> hope that doesn't spoil it too much. <laughs> All right. So um, next week, uh, it's I have a tight window next week. So probably we'll do a Lord of the Rings and then we'll get back to Arkham after that. And then uh, I'll be start planning in all of our guest spots. So uh, bear with me. I'm having a bit of a month, but uh, this will this will take a while. We're gonna we're gonna take this one nice and slow. We will be we'll be in this campaign for yeah yeah a good long while, folks. So I don't know about you, but maybe um, after we found out that Amy Kensler is missing, I went back to sleep and we had a weird dream, a weird dream, man. Probably. We'll see where that lands next week. <laughs> Super weird dream. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone in the chat. You've been a great help tonight. Thank you, Janet. Thank you Daniel. all. Glad you enjoyed it. And oh, thank will, you, Mike. We will catch you next time. Later, all. Good night.